Do you have those days where you say, well, I'm gonna be doing this and that once I finish washing dishes, or I'm gonna go and have fun once I um, finished, I don't know, cleaning the car. On the other hand, you never get to do the dishes, you never get to do the car, and you end up never doing what you really want to do. This video came up this week when I was telling myself that I had to wash dishes in the afternoon and once I would have been done, I was to record a video. On the other hand, things got busy, didn't feel like it, the dishes didn't get done. And you know what? The recording didn't get done either. So my topic today is when you don't do things that are easy to do when you need to do it, when will you actually do the hard stuff when you have to do it? Welcome to this uh, channel. My name is Anne Faber. I'm a high school teacher and I always love learning and helping others learn. And I believe that learning is the ultimate tool to make a better world. So stay with us and let's see what we'll learn today. We all have examples of times when we had easy things to do and they didn't get done. And then bigger thing didn't get done either. Uh, every year, the one thing that is harder for me to do is to do marking for my students. I love teaching, I love sharing the things we need to know. I love labs, I love to write lab reports with, and I love reading them. But giving comments in writing when you have 30, 35 students takes hours and hours. And sometimes I tell myself, okay, once I finish marking these papers, I'm gonna watch a movie. And you know what, sometimes I get busy, didn't feel like, don't feel like marking and you know what i don't get to enjoy the movie either or i said well let's watch something on tv first and then i'll mark you know what that's the ultimate um the ultimate how do we say that trap it is the ultimate trap you say you're going to enjoy yourself first because you deserve it then you're going to do the easy work no it never works so here are three tips for you three tips to help you to do things that are easy when you have to do it so that when you have to work on the hard stuff, you're ready. My first tip is to use your agenda. Once you use your agenda, you realize that you write down the little things you have to do. Yes, it looks like a list, but when it's there, you know that you have to be committed. And when you're committed to your agenda, you're committed to respecting your time the time of others and you'll realize that you can do so much more in a day. My second tip on how to make it easy to do the easy stuff so you're ready for the harder stuff is the five second rule. When you have to do something and it's your agenda, use the five second rules which goes like this, five, four, three, two, one, and you get going. It's a very good tool to get you to stop procrastinating because once you use the five second rule, you realize that, oh, you're committed, your confidence will increase, and you'll see you can do so much more. My third tip in how to make things easy done is to try to figure out, do you actually need to do it? If you don't need to do it, why would you waste your time doing so? Second part, if you can delegate it, imagine how much time you can save. And that's something to keep in mind. My call to action for you today is to write in your agenda two easy things you have to do. Two easy things you had to do yesterday or even this morning that, they, that are not done yet. Write them down. Use the five second rule to say, okay, let's get them done because by the end of today, with two more things done from what you have to do in your life, you'll build your confidence, you'll feel better and you'll make the world a better place. I'm gonna put here the link to other videos on my playlist for my best life journey, and I'll see you in the next video.